Hal believes, the new heavy-class multi-role helicopter, it is developing for the Indian military, can be benchmarked, against the best products on the global market. The Indian multi-role helicopter, a twin-engined rotorcraft, could be available as early as, 2028. It will have a maximum takeoff weight of 13 tons, and can transport up to 36 troops, in a high-density configuration. According to the Economic Times, the Indian Navy has joined forces, with the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force, to develop India's most ambitious indigenous helicopter, development plan. With this, India could eventually see, the domestic manufacture of hundreds of indigenous, medium-lift choppers, to serve a variety of roles, ranging from transporting troops, to high-altitude areas, to anti-ship and submarine operations. The Indian multi-role helicopter is a large helicopter being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Armed Forces for air attack, military transport and VIP transport. Giving a boost to a project with the goal of saving 2 lakh crore on military platform imports in the coming years. The Indian multi-role helicopter project is said to be on track. The scale model testing has already been completed successfully and the first test flight is scheduled for 2025 or 2026. The next stage, in which prototypes are to be built, which will require a fund infusion of approximately 10,000 crore rupees into the project. HAL has been working on the development, since 2017, in the anticipation of an Indian requirement, materializing ahead of the planned withdrawal, from service of the Air Force's 239 MI-17s, from 2028. While it does not have a long history of producing helicopters, Hal argues that the success of its 5.5-ton Dhruv medium twin and Rudra and light combat helicopter variants show that it has graduated to the next step. The chopper is being built specifically for the forces and the naval version will almost certainly have bespoke design elements as well. Because it will not be required for high-altitude operations, the naval IMRH will most likely have a longer range and payload capacity. The chopper will most likely come in two types, anti-surface and anti-submarine in mission. It would also have specialized marine equipment such as a sonar and a sea scanner radar. While the larger design will be similar to the Air Force and Army versions, there will be significant differences inside the cockpit for the naval roll chopper. HAL anticipates producing three to five flying prototypes, as well as ground and structural test articles, over a seven-year development period. The IMRH will have 75% domestic content, and will have a five-blade main rotor and a four-blade, bearing less tail rotor, a composite fuselage and a glass cockpit. The main exception will be the helicopter's engines, which will be sourced from a Western manufacturer. HAL reveals that, Two companies have already been asked to submit proposals for 2,000 kilowatts class power plants. HAL, on the other hand, claims that it will manufacture the entire transmission, including the main and tail rotor gearboxes, as well as the avionics and digital automatic flight controls. HAL claims that the IMRH was designed with the global market in mind, and that it was benchmarked against five current heavy-class rotorcraft, that is, the Airbus Helicopters H225M, Leonardo Helicopters OR-101, MI-17, NH Industries NH-90, and Sikorsky S-92.